guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be a day in the life of a stay-at-home mom slash TTC mom slash work from home mom it's like past four o'clock right now and this morning was just a really busy morning which you guys will see because I did vlog it I realized that I kind of wanted to take a shower and put on some makeup and get ready before I film my intro because I looked like a hot mess this morning you guys a hot mess I was super tired and then I went outside in the awful humidity and DC heat with Camden and then came back in and worked out which you will see all of it but I was like drenched in sweat by the end of it and I just was like I'm gonna shower before filming my intro let's just get on with the video Go back downstairs. No, we can't. He's on the phone. We're not going back downstairs till he's off the phone. No, Camden, we can't put that back downstairs till Daddy's off the phone. He's on a call. No. Honey, we can't put that back downstairs until he's off. So this little guy is giving me a run for my money today. He has been just out of control. Usually we wake up, we have our breakfast, we get dressed, we go outside on a long walk and then go to the park. He has not wanted to get dressed. He stripped his pajamas off and then made me put this bib on him. Um, and he won't go outside. Camden, do you want to go outside to the park? No. No, what do you want to do? Stay at home. Stay at home. So I don't know what's going on, but he's literally like kicking, screaming, and crying every single time I try to take him outside. So I guess we're not going out today. Okay, so he let me spike his hair. So at least he looks a little bit more put together. Right, Cam? No. Yeah, you let me style your hair. But you still don't have any clothes on, huh? Just the bib? Still eating some uh, oatmeal squares and apple? You've been sitting here for like 20 minutes eating this. You guys usually like he won't sit up here and eat for more than like five minutes so I'm shocked that he's sitting here so calmly and eating his snack. I guess he knows what he wants. No outside today. You just want to sit here and eat your snacks. No, no nap today. Do you see his finger? No, no nap today.
Camden finally let us take him out to the park and on a walk. Um, Alex, my husband, he works from home if you guys don't know. So he was able to actually come out with us to the park. And I think that's a big reason why Camden decided to go. Because he's obsessed with Alex. So we finally were able to get him out of that <laughs> bib and get some clothes on him. And took him out for a little bit. Um, but it is so humid and hot outside that we were all just drenched in sweat by the time we got back. Well, I need to figure out something to make myself for lunch. I'm thinking I'm going to make some tuna. Um, some of my favorite Trader Joe's tuna that I got yesterday. And then I'm going to put some of the wasabi mayo in there. Okay, you guys, I just tried the wasabi mayo. It is a game changer for tuna fish. Like, seriously, I was skeptical at first, but it's so good. If you like spicy stuff and wasabi, you will love this. It literally gives such a good kick to like anything. I mean, if you like chicken salad, tuna fish, whatever. I eat tuna fish all the time. It's like really great protein and I love the taste. The only thing I will say about the mayonnaise that I don't like is that it's not as like... I guess creamy as, I don't know if creamy is the right word, but the tuna fish is still a little dry. Like whenever I add regular mayo, it's not dry, but with this stuff, I put like a big scoop and it was still kind of dry, but like the taste is so good that it doesn't even matter. When your husband still eats like he's 12 sometimes and asks you to make him two things of ramen with eggs. So I'm on my way up to the grocery store right now. I just have to pick up like literally two things. I have to get some whole milk for Camden and then I have to get some like hamburger buns, but I'm gonna get like the thin ones um, because I'm making the Trader Joe's like chili lime burgers that I got the other day. They're so good, you guys. I am obsessed with them. Um, they're the chicken chili lime burgers. Alex is with Camden at home right now. He's like in between calls for work, so he said he could watch him for like, you know, 20 minutes till I get back. So I told you guys in my last vlog that Alex and I have finally like narrowed it down to three places that we would be willing to move to in the south um, when we do move in like six months. But, well, they're more like, I guess, my places that I've picked out and that I've asked him about and he said that he would consider all of them. So, but he said that he's not really gonna like actively start like looking um, for another six months. So these are just, you know, places that I 100% would love to move to. Obviously we have to go visit these places because neither of us have ever been. Well, actually I have been to one of them. That's a lie, I have been to one of them. And one of my really good friends lives there. I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you guys the three locations that are on top of our list right now. Of course, this could change within the next six months and it also could change when we go visit these locations, but I am like so set on them right now and I've heard lots of amazing things about all these places. Um, but the first place, like my top number one choice that I wanna move to is Brentwood, Tennessee, which is a suburb right outside of Nashville. Uh, one of my best friends lives in Nashville. I've gone to visit her for her wedding. I absolutely loved Nashville. I, I really didn't get to see too much of it because we were there for just like a short weekend. But what I did see, I loved. Everything I've read about Brentwood, it's just beautiful there. It's so nice. The houses are gorgeous. Um, and they're still kind of pricey, but not as pricey as living in DC. Um, and yeah, so I, so that is my number one pick right now. Number two, number two and three are kind of tied, honestly. I don't know which one I like more. The only reason I'm gonna say this is number two is because it's closer to home, which is like the DC area, and this is where our families will be. Unless I can get my mom and grandparents to move with us 
which I don't know if that'll happen. They all are really interested in moving to Nashville. So if we do end up moving to like Brentwood, Tennessee, then I possibly could get them all to move, which would be like a dream come true. Number two is Alpharetta, Georgia. Um, which is a suburb right outside of Atlanta, I believe. Um, I've never been there, but so many of you have recommended it in the Atlanta area or in the Georgia area because I would love to move to Georgia. I've heard nothing but amazing things. Uh, my mom absolutely loves Georgia, and I know the Alpharetta um, area is really nice, has really great schools, um, and just from the pictures online and everything I've read, it just seems so perfect. Uh, the only reason that this comes as number two is because it's closer to DC. Number three, as you guys know, is Texas. Um, and I still don't know exactly where in Texas. I'm thinking more of the Houston area. Um, I really love the woodlands. I've looked into the woodlands so much and I've gotten so many of you guys recommending the woodlands and I love it. And then also Sugarland. Is it Sugarland or Sugarland? I don't really know how you say it, but I'm going to say Sugarland. And I don't know which one I like better. I mean, I'm going to have to go visit if we end up deciding that we want to move to Texas. Obviously, we'll go visit those two places. Um, but yeah, I don't know which one I like better. Like what I've read about both of them is like they're both so amazing. So I don't really know. If you guys are from either of those areas and you could kind of tell me more about them in the comments below that would like help me kind of narrow it down more, that'd be awesome. But another area in Texas that I would love to visit and possibly move to would be San Antonio. So San Antonio, Sugarland, and the Woodlands in Texas are like the three places that I really love so far just from doing research and stuff like that. But Brentwood, Tennessee, right outside of Nashville, is still my number one, and I would love to move there more than anything, so we will see what happens in six months. But you guys know I have been looking at houses nonstop for the past, like, two weeks now, and I have a whole list of favorite houses, and so many of them are, like, in our budget, but, like, so beautiful and, like, brand new and, like, breathtaking, and it just makes me want to move there more and more and more every single time I search for houses. Mmm, is that good? It's cold. It's cold. <laughs> I told you he doesn't know how to eat it. Mmm. Whoa, you bit it off. <laughs> Can mama have some? No. Uh-oh. No. Uh no. Wow. Woo! Oh my god, you guys, I'm in so much pain right now. Um, it's like cramping. I'm assuming that I'm getting my period like very soon because the cramps are so bad. They are so painful. I literally like TMI, but I was just in the bathroom for like 20 minutes on the toilet because the cramps in my stomach hurt so bad. And they're a little better now, but they they still hurt. Like, I'm just, I know that my period is going to be so heavy and so painful because whenever I take Provera, that's usually what happens. I feel like that happens with a lot of people. I don't know what what it is but Provera can really just like mess with your period and make it super heavy and I just feel like that's what's gonna happen but I really just want to get my period like out of the way now because I go to LA next week and I don't want to have my period while I'm there like at all so I'm just hoping that I get it like tonight or tomorrow so that I can get it over with just want to like start this process start the Clomid like start getting everything going already you ready to go take a bath cam what do you what do you have? Is that little chicken? Where's his head? Where, what happened to the chicken's head? <laughs> what are you doing, you silly? Where's the big chicken? Big chicken? Where is he? Right there? Big chicken? Where's the little chicken? Where's the little chicken? He pulled the little chicken's head off like 
I want to say six to eight months ago and every single time I give him the little chicken he says oh no little chicken no head I think I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and if you want to see more vlog style day in the life videos and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys in my next video bye